I've been doing some sluicing at this site right here, digging down along this bedrock. I don't see any gold in there, but I don't really know what this is right here. It looks like bedrock, but it's got that eye bolt in it, so it could be something that was dropped here by a crane. I don't know. But anyway, I've been digging down in here, and what I'm going to try to do is get an idea if there's any gold down in there using the experimental gravity trap concentrator. That ought to be adequate to trap any large size gold. During the winter, the water was coming through here with a lot of force. And the water was over on that side of the rock, so I think maybe everything was settling on that side and moving this way. But we're going to find out. Now, what I'm going to be doing is using the model 2125 HDP Clear 2-inch gold hand dredge from Golden Sniffer Products. Now, this one here, this is the original one that I started using in the videos. And it's got a little bit of abrasive wear on the plastic, so the fittings are... You know, it's not as snug as it used to be. So what I've done was I've found some tape here. This is called, uh, it's, it's Teflon tape, it's film tape, and it's got an adhesive on one side, and it's slick on the other. Three thousandths thick. I put a layer of it around here. That way when I press the elbow on, it stays on better. Also, what I've done is I have this grommet on here, and on this elbow right here I have a gasket so when I tighten that hose clamp it'll have a better tendency to lock it in place and it won't slip around now also in here I also put a layer of that 3000 film around in here and now I can really press that in there really press it in there tight and don't have to I don't think I have to worry about it blowing out if it does blow out on me what I've done is I've added a collar this is the valve that normally fits inside there. Normally it looks like this here. But what I've done was I've added a collar. So a combination of all that together, I think I'll be able to use this as a production dredge and not ever have to worry about it come apart until a flapper finally goes. All right. So anyway, let's put this together. All right, so we got that on there like such. I'm going to be sitting on this side here, pumping that way with the experimental gravity trap concentrator. Get the pump here. That's a little bit above level, a little bit above level to the horizon because you want the flapper to kind of drop down and seat itself inside the discharge housing. Over here, what I've done is I've a rubber gasket around here so that when I slip the hose over here and clamp it, there won't be any leaking right there, no air leak. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this in place. There we go. Now let's see if it turns. Yeah, it turns, but it's pretty tight. I don't know if I'll be able to blow it apart pumping. Okay, and then let's see. Go. Make sure that's clean. Now this has a steel, re two inch steel restrictor nozzle on it. That way you won't suction anything bigger than two inches into the pump. Even though the inside of the pump will pass a two and one eighth inch size rock through it. Okay. Now, like I say, if it does start blowing apart, I can always put a hose clamp right here to hold these two together. Now watch this. Watch how much water this pumps out. I'm not even going to prime it. Look at that. It pretty much primed itself. How do you like that? 
There you go. Not bad. Yeah, that's going to be a real tight fit. I don't think it's going to have an air leak there once I get it primed. Okay, that's pretty tight. Will it turn? Yeah, it turns a little bit, but that's only right here at the valve. Okay. All right, let's see if I can put this back in there. And we're ready to pump. There we go. Want any air in there? The reason you don't want any air in there is because the sloshing will interfere with the pumping action because you'll be using air, not water. Now, see, as I was shoveling down in here, I got to the point where I couldn't tell whether I was on this rock right here or whether. There was other rocks down in here that were sitting on top of this rock as it starts to come this way. So with the hand ridge, I should be able to get a pretty good idea. Now, the experimental gravity trap concentrator, I tested it with the model 625 HDP and HD with a 32 ounce bellows. And in my test, none of the gold escaped the experimental gravity trap concentrator. It stayed behind. But now, the model 2125 HDP clear, that has a 48 ounce bellows. That's so much water pumping into the experimental gravity trap concentrator that it's a possibility that unless I find a different way of positioning it, it will blow all of the coal. That is a bucket with a window inside it and the experimental gravity trap concentrator. Uh, the accordion, they, they go through there, they fit through there, and so when the accordions go through there, then it like snaps in and it won't come out. Oh, there we go. I got it. Excellent. Oh yeah, look at all that accumulation of rocks that was in there. Yeah, that's a lot of rocks. Oh, there you go. Look at that big rock that was in there. See, that's wider than two inches. And using the experimental gravity trap concentrator. But today what I'm going to do is I have it lashed to a bucket, so I'm going to be saving all the material that comes out of the gravity trap concentrator so we can see if any gold is uh, making it into the bucket. Hold out. Now see right now, that enhancement where I bolt the valve to the accommodation discharge valve hose adapter, well, what that does is that, I guess, makes this more like a production dredge now because you can just keep going and going. Now what I'll do is I'll go right down along this bedrock. Now I've done uh, a hand dredging along bedrock like this before. And a lot of times what happens is gold will just hug right along the edge here. Looks good. Look at that. 
rock inside there. Oh man. There we go. Let's see if I can pump it through. Yeah, it must be uh Yep, there you go. Yeah, that 48 ounce bellows, that's just like blowing everything out. Hopefully, I don't think, it'll, you know, if there's any larger pieces of gold, I don't think there's any way that there's enough water pressure that that could force the gold up and out. It would stay behind. Yeah, looks like uh, it just keeps going down. Maybe that side doesn't. All right, I've been hand dredging with a bottle 2125 HDP clear to his school hand dredge for a little while. And I think uh, that this is just a drop off along the edge of the bedrock. So I've dredged down along the edge here. I got enough suction that if there was any gold down there, I probably pulled some of it in. So, it's time for the clean out. All right. I emptied out the experiment of gravity trap concentrator. Now it's time to see if there's anything in there. It'll look like there's very much black sand. Just some fine stuff, like background stuff. No big magnetite, you know. So, that means there's probably not going to be any gold in here. But then that's what prospecting is all about, right? Keep prospecting until you find a spot. Now, like I said, you know, experimental gravity tra uh, trap concentrator. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, model 2125 HCP clear with a 48 ounce bellows. Hey, you know, <laughs> yeah, taking your chances not having a safety uh, pan or something underneath. Yeah, I don't know. There's some uh, pretty good sized magnetite in there, it looks like. Yeah. That'd be nice if there was a couple little pieces of gold in there. Yeah. No, I don't see any gold. Right, now I'm panning out the concentrates from the sluice box, and it looks like there's quite a bit of black sand in the material. But whether or not there's any gold in it, it's so dark I'm not going to be able to find out. 
So I'll just have to take the black sand home. Yeah, look at all that. All that black sand. Now I had the sloughs running really fast. The reason I had the sloughs running really fast is because I wasn't classifying the material. I just get a shovel, I throw the shovel in there, the rocks would go flying out, and the riffles stayed pretty clean. You know, so anyway, for there to be that much black sand, this may be a good spot. I'll know after I do the uh, the clean out at home.